Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us today. Lakota Board of Education and school administrators, please join us today as we honor the accomplishments of the class of 2020. I would like to begin our commencement program by acknowledging several people and organizations and their part in today's event. The Lakota Board of Education, Superintendent Dr. Chad Kaufman, Treasurer Mr. Norm Elkert, and the maintenance and custodial staff of Lakota Local Schools, faculty and staff of Lakota Local Schools. Senior class advisors, Mrs. Nancy Slaughterbeck and Mrs. Cassie Velasquez. Don and Roxy Bowling and Keith and Nancy Timmons for the use of our stages. Our photographers, Maddie Bowling and Candace Fote for donating their time and talent. Mike and Valerie Carhoff for the construction of these steps. Event volunteers, Mrs. Stephanie Brower, Mr. Ty Ray, Mr. Tracy Rosser, and Mr. Kevin Yeckley. Administrative assistants, Mrs. Laura Biddle and Mrs. Jenny Paxton and their spouses, Joe and Jeff. The technology department, Mr. Russ Abbott and Mr. Devin Clark. Chief Bob Diebel and the volunteer fire department from Kansas. And school resource officer, Deputy Matt Stutz and the Sandusky County Sheriff's Office. If I have forgotten anyone at all, I sincerely apologize and please know that you are appreciated. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Senior Class President Alicia Enright. Hello everyone and welcome friends, family, and those of you who are live streaming with the Class of 2020. First off, I would like to give a huge thank you to our Vice President Carly Hansen and our Senior Representatives Kirsten Lukey and Noah Dahl. It has been a fantastic pleasure working with you guys these past four years. We, the graduates of 2020, would also like to thank everyone who has made today possible. We know that this year has been challenging and we appreciate your time and dedication to our graduation. Overall, high school has been a difficult ride, especially this last year. As freshmen, everyone told us that these past four years were gonna fly by, so we better enjoy them while we could. This was hard to believe, but here we stand today with our caps and gowns on, leaving this great high school we got to call home. We didn't know it at the time, but our junior year was going to take a huge impact on our experience here at Lakota. Those memories from that spring semester will never be forgotten and forever be cherished. As X once said, the bad things in life open up your eyes to the good things that you weren't paying attention to before. We came into this world at a rough time when 9-11 happened, and our senior year came to a quick end when a worldwide virus broke out called COVID-19. We were made to be strong and to come out of every unexpected mess with our heads held high. We are the class that hopes in the darkness and rolls with the punches. These skills will strengthen us throughout our further chapters in our lives. We cannot take full credit though because there are some fantastic leaders here in Raider Nation. The class of 2020 would also like to thank everyone who has supported us and has been great role models to us over the years, especially our parents who have been our biggest supporters in and out of quarantine. Now please join me in giving a huge round of applause slash honk your horns for the Lakota graduates of 2020. We, we made it! <laughs> Next, it is my honor to introduce the superintendent of Lakota Local Schools, Dr. Chad Kaufman. Good afternoon. My, my pleasure to welcome everyone to the class of 2020 commencement ceremony. To welcome members of the class families and friends, staff members, and all those that are watching my stream at this time. I too want to echo the thank yous from Mrs. Sproul regarding all the people that have been involved with preparing today and having everything ready to go. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to Mrs. Sproul. She has really put in a lot of time, a lot of effort 
in order to make sure today is a day that, that's worthy of recognizing uh, the members of the class of 2020, and I appreciate that. Graduates, it's hard to believe. I mean, we're, we're in the middle of living through something that's going to go into the history books, that people generations from now are going to study and talk about, much like you talk about and learn uh, about the Great Depression, World War I, World War II, the pandemic that took over the world in 2020. It's going to go down in the history books in the same way. And I'm sure reporters, whether it's 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 50 years from now, they're going to do news articles and stories, and they're going to want to talk to people that were most impacted and affected by what happened in the last two, three months. And obviously, one of the groups that, that have been impacted the most are all of you. Now, I don't want to go through the list of all the things that you guys have missed out on and lost, because it's just going to make me sad. I want to focus on the positives. I want to focus on the positives that you guys hopefully have come away with. So the first thing I came up with, and this could be something, you know, your own kids, when they come home and say, hey, Mom, Dad, we're studying about the coronavirus, you know, from 2020, what do you remember about it? What did you learn? So the first one I, I came up with, and I think everyone will agree with this, that you'll say is probably the most well-rested and the most sleep you've ever had. So I think we can all agree with that one. The second one, you know, perhaps this was a time that uh, you, ado you, you uh, adopted a dog or a cat or a puppy. I mean, all the shelters, all the animals have been uh, adopted, and, and you've had time to uh, add that, that uh, pet to your family, and, and that's been a positive experience. Third thing I thought of, we haven't had sports. We haven't had sports to play, and we haven't had sports to, to watch, uh, but perhaps you know, you spent some time with your family playing different board games, learning different card games. I know at my house, uh, we've played a lot of euchre the last two and a half months. Maybe, uh, maybe you did a puzzle. You know, maybe you found something enjoyable to do that you've never done before. Maybe what you'll say is that you remember having dinner with your family every single night. Now, you've got to be careful on how you say this one, because if you say it like this, it gives a different message. I remember having dinner with my family every single night. Put a little eye roll at the end, and you, you get where I'm coming from. Perhaps what you'll remember is how you stayed connected with your, your friends. You know, this, this generation has the reputation of uh, being texters and, and uh, following each other with short Snapchats and whatnot. And my guess is by not seeing each other at school, uh, you had to find other ways to stay connected. Maybe it was through Zoom. Maybe Friday nights at 7, there was five or six of you that got together and, and Zoomed with each other. Uh, it was important that you guys could communicate and support each other and, and, and be there for each other during these times. Maybe use Google Hangouts. Maybe it was FaceTime. Maybe you used your cell phone for what they were originally made for to just pick up and have a conversation with each other. Maybe your memories will be how you finished your last quarter of school. After 12 and 3 quarters years, all of a sudden, with very little instruction, very little warning, it was a total different way of doing things. How you received instruction, how you submitted your assignments, how you got your homework taken care of, and those types of things. And maybe you had other obstacles that you had to overcome with doing that. Maybe at your house you only had one computer and you had to share it with brothers and sisters and even your mom and dad because they were home doing work as well. Maybe your Wi-Fi wasn't so hot or maybe you didn't have Wi-Fi at all and you did your homework in a parking lot using that Wi-Fi. But you overcame, you found a way to get it done. And maybe your memory is going to be different responsibilities that you had. Maybe not only did you have to take care of your own homework, you had to help your younger brothers and sisters get theirs taken care of as well. And maybe you really had to step up. Maybe in order to get the bills paid and, and, and get the groceries on the table, you know, if your mom or dad had lost their job, you stepped up and you, you took on a new job with the flexibility of your schedule. Maybe it was at Kroger, at Burger King, delivering food, whatever it is. But all these things that happen in, in just two and a half months, and with those disappointments and things that you lost, you stepped up, and you're here today, and you've made it 
to your commencement. Now, let's look uh, to the closer future. Maybe it's next week, maybe it's within the next year, next two to three years. You're gonna be in an interview and they're gonna say, why should we hire you for this position? And what I want you to consider saying, first of all, you could say, you know, I know, you know, in this business, in this company, maybe you've done things the same way for 12 and three quarters years. And all of a sudden you need to change. And you need somebody that can adapt and is willing to learn with little instruction and little guidance and can do it on your own. Well, you should hire me because I've already done that. I can handle that. And maybe in your company, there's going to be times where you need somebody to step up, put, your, put the needs of the company ahead of your own needs. I've already done that. And maybe in your company, there's these great traditions and things that you enjoy and you have, and maybe those things are going to disappear. I know how to take negatives and turn them into positives. I, you know what? I had my high school commencement in the, in the school parking lot, and you know what? It was a great day. It was a positive thing. The reason you should hire me is because I'm a member of the class of 2020 and I can handle anything. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. I have missed you guys these last few months of school and I'm very sorry that we didn't get to finish your senior year together. But nevertheless, I am very proud of all of you. You've all done a great job finishing up. And I couldn't be more honored to serve as your high school principal. As principal of Lakota High School, I, Sherry Sprow, do hereby certify that those graduates of the class of 2020 who have fulfilled the requirements for graduation as set forth by the state of Ohio and the Lakota Local School District shall be awarded diplomas signifying this honor. On behalf of Lakota Local Schools, it is my pleasure to present the class of 2020.
Please join Skyly as she leads us in the singing of our alma mater. Friends of Lakota, lift your hearts in singing. Praise to the school we love and to those we know here. Knowledge and fellowship to teach joy and loyalty. These are Lakota High. Next, Kirsten Linke and Alicia Enright will be leading the tassel exchange. Graduates, please place your right hand on your tassel. On the count of three, we will be moving the tassel from the left side to the right side to signify your status as a Lakota graduate. Everybody ready? One, two, three. Graduates, please remove your caps and place those in your vehicle and get out the boards from your car for the cap toss. If everybody's ready, on the count of three, one, two, three. 